Well, what a pleasure. I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the APS's CEO, Kate Kirby. Kate, welcome. Thank you. I'm delighted to see you here again it's at great the March to, meeting. It's great to be here. It's been a fantastic meeting as well, hasn't it? It has. Uh, I am just so impressed by the uh, growth uh, of this meeting because we're approaching 10,000 attendees. And um, I think it's incredibly um, vital and, and, uh, and exciting. So many wonderful speakers and uh, so many students. Because every aspect of the meeting is great, isn't it? You have the public lectures, you have uh, students everywhere, and, and you have the prizes that you've been giving out. It's a, it's, right. it's a really exciting time for the society. I think there's a lot to celebrate. Tell so. us a little bit about how the year's gone. So um, let me just start by saying our membership numbers uh, are, have increased. So we're over 54,000 members. Uh, and um, I think that's exciting. We have a number of new member groups, our units uh, growing. Uh, one of our uh, groups in quantum information science has become a division, and we have a new forum on early career scientists. Uh, and um, so that's the way our members engage with the society, I think, through our units. And I'm delighted to see so many people interested in forming new groups. And that's the measure, isn't it, sometimes, of the vibrancy of an organization, that engagement, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And, and we certainly have that engagement um, around our meetings. And absolutely, we have that engagement with respect to our journals. And our journals are incredibly important uh, for the society. Let's just uh, touch on the journals for a minute. So the mm -hmm. journals continue to evolve, don't they? They do. You've got a new journal this year? We have a new journal that launched uh, in mid-2016. That was the um, Physical Review Fluids. Right. And it's been wildly successful. And that really, I think, has been helped tremendously by uh, the engagement of the members of our division of uh, fluid dynamics. And so uh, it's, of course, a, a journal that is welcoming papers from all over the world. Right. But certainly our members have helped to support this, this new journal. Let's just pick up on that as well, because I think that's an interesting point. Because uh, the vast minority of papers are from the US, aren't they? That's right. Absolutely. Uh, so about 75% of our papers come from the rest of the world. And doesn't that reflect the strength of the society as a sort of global phenomenon? I think it does, and certainly with respect to our publishing. Right. Um, and, you know, in, when you look at the membership side, you know, I would say it's about 25% to 27% of our members live outside the U.S. Okay. So it's definitely less than in our journals, but that's understandable. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, we obviously live in interesting times, don't we? We uh, do. You know, after, after the election. So give me an insight, if you will, about how the society is going about uh, crossing the aisle, if you like, to gain support for science. Um, I think our, um, our goal uh, has been, uh, and I've worked with our um, interim director of our Office of Public Affairs uh, in, in this, uh, has been to create more champions for science across the aisle. Science is absolutely, um, should be bipartisan. And we, the APS, definitely are committed uh, to um, working on both sides of the aisle to make sure that there's strong support for science. And because it's, it's, it's all focused, I think it's essential for our country. Uh, that there be a very, very strong science enterprise, physics being a prominent part of it. But um, arguing for all of science, I think, is very important. And as you know, there's this March for right. Science that's, uh, that's coming up in April, and it took the society a little while to figure out whether this uh, could be held in uh, a nonpartisan right. way. Uh, because uh, we don't want to be alienating right. people. We want to be building consensus for this very uh, important initiative. Um, so uh, we were thinking about it for a while, and, uh, and ultimately our members spoke uh, to us pretty loud and clear. And uh, we have member committees, advisory committees, that you know, right. went along with our supporting this. So we're definitely going to be out there. Final question. Uh, next year in LA, so yeah. well, what are you hoping to get done between now and then? 
Well, we have a new materials journal that's going to launch this year. I'm very excited about that. I think that's a, a, another way of broadening right. um, our uh, the scope of our journals. And so I, I think that's a great decision on the part of um, our uh, editor, editor-in-chief and publisher and all those who work with them to, um, uh, you know, to launch this. So uh, that's, that's certainly on, on you know, our radar. And then in addition, uh, I would really like us to make um, some, uh, I mean, to, to be able to reach across the aisle right. and, and uh, as I say, create more ch champions for science because that's essential for our community. Mar marvelous. Well, okay, well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. We really appreciate it as always and uh, be an interesting year. Definitely an interesting year. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim.